Hey, Eddie from the Batcave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my pulls, which is very, very short. And since this is short, um, I grabbed a couple stuff from the Batcave to show you guys. I found some trading cards too. Can't wait to show you. So let's get going. First off, Fantastic Four number 12, Alex, Alex Ross cover. Read this before I came on. Now, if you love dinosaurs, Jay Christopher, um, this is a story to buy. It's a two-parter, uh, continues next month. The Fantastic Four find themselves in a different reality, okay, where the people like us look like dinosaurs, but full-size dinosaurs. So like the Avengers are the dinosaurs in that time reality. So it's a fun little book, all right? Wasn't that bad of a story, okay? New from Image, Transformers number one. I read this before it came out, it was not bad was not bad. It sounded like it's, they're starting this from the beginning. Almost remind me from the 80s cartoon how they started. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, pick up issue number two. So it wasn't a bad story. So if you're him and haunting, you're looking up in the rack, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Artwork's a little, you know, not all there, but the story was okay. And again, this is my opinion. Storyline continue with that war between Catwoman and Batman. We find out that Vandal Savage on last issue owns Bruce Wayne Manor. So this is Batman number 138. I got the variant cover from Gabriel de Otto. Shazam number three, right? Four, sorry. Got the variant com uh, cover from Samney. Look at that. I just love that classic. Plus I love his artwork anyway on Firepower. But look at that. Just love that classic stuff from, from back in the 70s. Well, to me anyway. Uh, Storyline continues from last month and I forgot what happened. I know I had to do something with the gorillas. So excuse me for that. All right. That was that for my new stuff and I'll show you the other stuff that I was talking about. But first, I was just watching a program this morning on Max, something about DC Legends and stuff like that. Did you know they were gonna cancel Batman, the comic book series? back in the 50s because they just started getting all silly with meeting aliens and stuff like that. And so what happened when they created the 66 Batman TV series, the sales started to pick up. All right, people started buying Batman again. So just a little tidbit. And this is what I heard this morning. I don't know how true that is, but they were eventually gonna cancel Batman. Right now, hard to believe. But the, what I was reading, about, watching the TV, the, the story background wasn't being creative and they were just plain silly. Not that the 66 TV series was any sillier, but it made people, young kids, to go buy more books and Batman was safe. So we owe that to Adam West. All right. Okay, now, stuff that you haven't seen and I haven't seen in a while. From Dark Horse Comics, Danger Unlimited, Torch of Liberty. All right. Don't know what this is about, because I don't remember. All right, Gary Christopher Ray's Red Sonja Scavenger Hunt, number one. And I think this art was from the Hildebrandt brothers when they used to do those little trading cards from Marvel. I'll switch out the back because it looks kind of dull there. All right. And I found this Thor, Giant Size from 1975, number one. All right, it looks kind of beat up. See that beat up? So if you find a beat up bag in your collection, take it out for the books like this right and it is beat up shoot up there 1975 right put it in the new cardboard bag rebag it looks a lot cleaner what do you think cool i think so all right gi joe special mission number two from marvel celebrating 25th anniversary Since we're doing G.I. Joe, let me show you the trading cards that I found in my little collection back there. From 1986, Hasbro Games. They used to do the trading cards for G.I. Joe. So, and, and with this, they'll give you the stats. I'm gonna take off my glasses. I don't have bifocals. There we go. And it tells you the name. These guys are Tomac and Zamak, if I said that correctly. Give you the birthplace, island of the Mediterranean. All right, that's pretty cool. We also have Destro. Like that. 
What's this one? Major Blood. And it's pretty cool. I don't know how much of, of these I have. I'll just show you. Okay. The artwork was not that bad. The Baroness. Our man Duke. His real name is Conrad S. Hauser. Didn't know that. Flint. Yo, Joe. Uh, Snake Eyes. Classify unknown. I don't remember this character. Snow job. Gun ho. And of course, Scarlet. All right. So that's pretty cool. I got like a little, uh, another section where they had the cars or the, the vehicles, the military vehicles that they're in and stuff like that. And they explain what kind of cars they are or vehicles. All right. So that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Anything you want to talk about, give me a holler. Let me know. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.